What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Solid Edge Works Trunks Volume 9. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on future Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. The Super Saiyan variant is based on the moment Trunks becomes a Super Saiyan when confronting the androids of his future in Dragon Ball Z Chapter 225. The base form is just a base form variant of that moment. This is a Solid Edge Works release which are museum styled crane figures from Ben Presto. If you're interested in buying this figure then I recommend Bashwin Collectibles, my favorite place to buy Kuji and collectibles. Link to their page in the description. I'm not sponsored by Bashwin at the time of recording this video, I just really like their service and prices. This figure was released on January 19th, 2023. Both trunks stand at just about 8 inches tall, weigh 14.9 ounces in box, weigh 9.1 ounces on their own, and they both come with their upper body, lower body, and base. Alright, I've been dogging on Solid Edge Works for a bit now, but I think things are about to change with this figure, uh, at least for this review, but uh, I'm pretty um, psyched to talk about Trunks. Uh, Trunks is a, a fan favorite character, so um, without further ado, let's just dive into the review. Let's not, let's not keep you guys waiting. As a character choice, I do understand we've had a Trunks before in Solid Edge Works. Um, and it was a pretty unique one because it's him in his armor. Um, but first of all, this outfit or this look for Trunks is very unique. Um, it's kind of like an in-between of him with his jacket on and him without the jacket on. Um, but he's ba he basically has his jacket off. Uh, and let's be real. The first Solid Edge Works Trunks was freaking terrible. <laughs> it, it sucked. Um, it, it, so I think... Someone definitely working at Bandai loves Trunks. Whoever works within Solid Edge Works really likes Trunks because we've had three releases of Trunks in Solid Edge Works. So that's very interesting. Um, but he needed a redo. He needed a second chance. Um, I, I, I think Goku really needs a second chance in, in Solid Edge Works. Um, but I'm glad that they went back to Trunks and they're like, let's try again. And boy, man, they really did. So I do like the choice. I'm gonna give the character choice a four out of five, uh, simply be because we already had a Trunks and Solid Edge Works Future Trunks, but uh, this is a really good decision for them to try again um, with this figure. Uh, his likeness, perfect, absolutely perfect. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen a Trunks that looks this good in the face. I think before the standard was like Dragon Ball Legends Trunks. If you guys know that figure, he's in his base form. But this, whoa, dude, like everything about it is perfect. The way that they bolded his eyes, the way that they made his eyes, the anime lines above his eyes, his face, on both figures, they, they look fantastic. Um, man, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away by how good his face looks. Now, I know both of them have the same exact face, so Really, it's there isn't a big difference between the two, but just that that tenacity that he has in his face, it's just perfect. So I'm gonna give his likeness a five out of five. Well done, whoever made this figure. Um, the uh, the sculpt quality is pretty good. The only area that I don't uh, appreciate is the fact that he uh, he has a base 
but he can stand without the base. The pegs are not on the bottom of his feet, but I will point out that he is a little wobbly without the base. So like me personally, I'm more comfortable just displaying him as they intended with him uh, with the base under his feet. But uh, you can put him up without the base under his feet. So the great job just giving us the flexibility, Bandai. So if you are wary about him being wobbly, you can do that. But other than that, wow, like there are some good details on this figure. Like even his pants, you can see there's like some strokes along his pants that make it look pretty good. His hair is sculpted really well and like he, he has like a little bit of a fade uh, under his spiky hair for his Super Saiyan and you can see that with the bowl cut of the base form as well. His muscles are really well defined. You can see some really good detail of his jacket that makes it look like actual like like cloth almost. So there are so many different aspects of the sculpt of this figure that's really good. The My only issue is my Super Saiyan. If you grab him by the top, he just slides right off. So it's not like very tight to, to put him together, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, it's still pretty good. And again, the flexibility of just taking him off the base and how they crafted the dang thing is perfect. So I'm gonna give the sculpt a five out of five as well. Paint and shading, I'm also super impressed. Uh, now the colors are really great and he doesn't have shading all over, but he does have shading on his skin and it is very notable. And wow, he's got shading in his hair, at least for the Super Saiyan variant. So I, I would say, uh, I don't know what to say, man. Like Solid Edge works. Why are you so inconsistent? Why don't all the figures look like this dang thing? He, he looks so good. <laughs> But paint and shading is real good. Shading on the, shading on his skin is uh, really cool. Shading on his hair is really good. Those are the most notable places. And like the way that they painted his um, his uh, uh, I don't know what to call it his tank top. Uh, it looks like not glossy, but it almost looks like somewhat less matte. I don't know how to explain it than his pants. Like his pants are definitely like more of a matte finish, whereas his uh, tank top is kind of like got a little 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 bit of a of a shine to it which is kind of cool um yeah dude I, they did a fantastic job with paint and shading gonna give that a five out of five as well what is going on solid edge works uh, uh and then finally uh size and scale now he's a good size this is a great size at eight inches a uh, very respectable size for trunks um he's not gonna scale well with Ichiban Kuji figures I'm sorry um you can argue that in the comments all you want. He's too small in scale to Ichiban Kuji. So if you are hoping that this will replace the Omnibus Ultra uh, trunks, this is not what you're looking for. Um, but in a vacuum, if you just want a good sized, uh, affordable trunks figure, uh, definitely worth the, his price and everything. So size and scale, I think is gonna be a four out of five. It's pretty standard. He's not the perfect size trunks, at least for me personally, but he's a fantastic size. Like I would give it like a 4.5 out of five, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna give his size and scale a four out of five. I think he's a well-sized figure. He won't scale with your Kuji, but he's gonna be one of your better sized figures for the price. But yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with this figure. This is without a doubt, the best Solid Edge Works figure they've ever done. And I know because I've seen them all now. <laughs> um, he is fantastic. There's nothing that beats this out there right now in terms of Solid Edge Works. He's probably one of the best crane figures that I have in my collection as well. Very cool figure, oh, absolutely awesome representation of trunks. It just makes me disappointed because none of the other Solid Edge Works figures are this good. Not even any, the, the Bojack trunks is this good. Um, I don't understand why Bandai is so inconsistent and just decides randomly to make some of these figures freaking awesome. It's almost like they, they were gonna make this Akuji figure and then at the last minute they decided to, you know, slight the budget and make him a crane figure. So um, I'm really happy with him. He's staying within my personal collection. That's how much I love him. Um, and I'm gonna give him a 4.5 out of five.
But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later. <laughs>